Hello everyone and welcome back to part number 5 of Sim Shenanigans and we have picked up with our Klepto Girls. Now I have downloaded a mod which allows our girls to steal at any time of the day now. So rather than having to wait till 7 o'clock they can do whatever they like. So Christina is just inviting her boyfriend over. Oh, something's came up and we can't make it. Okay, well that's slightly awkward because she's been talking to Whitney and Whitney is a romantic interest of Danielle but it's really kind of an awkward situation because let's remember Danielle is the ex of Melissa so it's definitely an awkward scenario at the moment so pretty much she's saying you know what you know, Kent's really nice, you know, you're pretty happy with him, what's his brother like scenario. So, they've kind of planned that they would quite like to to meet up. Now, Melissa, as we know, has got one notch on the heartbreaker bedpost, so she is going to get her a bottom up, and she is going to call over Felix, and he is going to be the next victim, if you like. He's going to be the next one that's... Uh, <laughs> Um, humped and dumped, let's just say that. <laughs> now, congratulations, Bryce's impressive performance has earned my promotion to substitute teacher. So, well done, and where are you going with them? Okay, well, whatever floats your boat. Oh, Felix, don't give me that nonsense. Why not? Why not? And, oh, why don't we invite over Chuck then? Let's invite over Chuck. And Troy is a substitute teacher as well. Right, so what to do then, Missy? If he can't make it, what to do is give him a phone call on your own. So Chuck is going to come over to Melissa's. Right, so we want to... Why don't we start just chatting with him and see if we can. Now, Melissa, let us make this bed. And we will quickly, quickly, before he comes over, grab some cereal. I've no idea where Christina has gone. Oh, she's at the community. The community kitchen. All right. And there's that paparazzi again, Charmaine. <laughs> now, she is feeling a bit out of sorts. So, encounters with other dimensions have turned Christina slightly loopy. Take a moment to take a deep breath or find a hospital. So, from being unstable. So, normally they do earn a new trait. Oh, and also, in between times, Shauna is actually pregnant again. You know, Shauna McQueen, how that was causing all the drama. She's actually preggers again, which is, is quite interesting. So she's having a chat with him in her underwear, you know, with the windows open for, for all to see. <laughs> like you do. So once Christina has eaten, I'm going to actually get her to... going to get her to go... Oh, and there's Chuck. Hello Chuck. I'd quite like her to go and get uh, get to stealing since we can do that now. So Melissa, is, are you going to come down and the first thing she's going to do is flirt with Chuck. Right, so someone said that the best thing for me to do to get a whole bunch of money is to get them to steal cars. I think it was Ro Rolly Sims. Um, so thank you for that suggestion. So let's have a look and see where has parking areas. And hopefully some cars would be decent cars, you know, rather than a whole bunch of sloppy jalopies and stuff like that. Because, <laughs> I mean, that's not very lucrative if it's, oh, and the Gallery Brothers are in. Well, why don't you stop talking to them? What? Go and visit them. Why don't you go? Why can't you go and visit them? Go and visit their apartment. Oh, they've got a nice apartment. Look at this. Let's buzz Chuck in. And what is she doing? <laughs> She's arguing with him. She's accusing him of being a diva. She really hates him. She really, <laughs> she really hates Chuck, doesn't she? She's not. She's not a Chuck fan. All right. I really want you to go. What are you I doing? Oh, they're flirting. I think you should go, Christina, and, and stop, you know, stop perving. Now, let's find somewhere for her to go so that she can, you know, go and steal some stuff. Let's go and steal some stuff here because we have hardly got anything. Um, We have only stole, like, 325 simoleons worth of stuff. 
So pretty pathetic in a way. Any cars around here? No, but there's an ice cream truck. Don't think we can steal the ice cream truck, can we? No. Ah, uh, right, come on, where can... Oh, look at the rainbow! Aww, that's cute. Cute, cute, cute. Alright, come on. What about Raina's car? Will we go and steal that? <laughs> uh, can we go to someone's house and steal their stuff? Yes, we can. Who could we go to? Who who do we really want to steal from? It's a bit harsh, isn't it? Actually stealing from someone. Where is the gym? Does the gym have a parking area? See, that's the problem. Not enough parking areas. Sake. Right, okay. Right, let's make a decision, Laura. Come on. Make a decision. Where will we send her? Let's go to... Let's go, let's go, let's go to... Let's go to the fire department and no, let's go to the gym. Right, let's go there. Okay, I'm back to Melissa and Chuck. Because there is a genuine attraction between these guys, like an actual genuine attraction. And both of them are total commitment phobes, so the chances of them actually, you know, getting together would be difficult. And he thinks that Melissa is very alluring. So let's confess our attraction to Chuck. Let's do that. What does he think? Oh, he's attracted. And he's now romantic interest. Okay, romantic. We'll have our first kiss. <laughs> Look at Chuck acting all shy. You're not shy, Chuck. You're not shy at all. Alright, so where are we going to take this? We're going to take this upstairs. Yeah, let's let's uh let's make out. And then let's go for a woohoo. And she's got a naughty reputation. <laughs> where are you? Are you over here? Oh, and look, there's a car. Probably belongs to him. Big Felix. Um, where are the boys? I want you to go and visit the Galloway household. I don't give a damn about Felix. So can we go and do that? That'd be great. And what about you, Christina? Are you at the gym yet? No, you're not even at the gym yet. Okay, so let's go back to these guys. I don't know where they're going to... Oh my goodness, we could kill two birds with one stone. Oh no, I don't want to do that because it might not actually work. I don't want to do it in the lift because it might not work for Chuck. And we need it to work for Chuck. Oh, I think he's well up for it. Oh, what are you doing? Elizabeth Joyner. Who else is coming in here? More paparazzi. Well, don't be taking our pictures. Well, I suppose they're not going to woohoo just down there. Oh no, don't woohoo in the lift. Oh. Okay, I don't know if that will count towards Chuck's, you know, Chuck's lifetime. Thing. Okay. Faith, if you're keeping note of it, <laughs> then make a note of this for me. Alright, and she's met him, so she must be there at the gym at this point. <laughs> so they're gonna woohoo. Now I know she should really make him her boyfriend and dump him, but I think she genuinely Oh <laughs> I think she genuinely likes him, you know. I think there's a genuine attraction. <gasps> Raina, it's been great meeting you. Maybe we should go on a date sometime. Really? Raina, Raina, Raina. Alright, and Chuck is doing the strut. <laughs> He's doing the strut. Let's do a heat the moment kiss. Right, let's see what we can steal. So she is... She's working out just now and she's getting super duper smelly. Is there many people like kicking him out? No, there's not. Okay. So, basically, I am not sure whether or not this mod is working because I'm clicking on things and it's not giving me the option to swipe. So, it may not be working, which isn't great. But, 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 it's nearly 7 o'clock. So, Whitney, have you met the boys yet? I mean, come on. This is the whole point of you. Oh, no, she <laughs> she's just having a dance to herself. Uh, are the boys home? I bet you they've like totally left. They have totally left, haven't they? Oh, God. 
Right, okay, so let's call them over. Call them back to their own house. If you can hear the noise in the background, guys, it's just my washing machine. It is in the other room, but it's like super loud. It's like a plane taking off, I swear. <laughs> Honestly, feel as if a jet is going to. I don't normally do a washing whenever I'm doing this, but you know. Okay, so he's going to come over in a little while. So Sergio Whitman is going out with Carrie Curtis. Alright. Doesn't really affect us, so that's fine. So are you dancing? Is there any kind of toilets? I mean, there's a gym. What is there? There's a buzzer system. Well, it says that he's in. Okay, we'll call him. Stop dancing in the mirror and call him. We need to get you a bit of romance. And Adam and Ashley, I'm so glad that they're kind of, you know, sticking together. <laughs> he's not home? Oh, of course. Of course he's not, Laura. Of course he's not. Because that would be far too easy. Yes, it would be. Right, are you coming over, Carter? I mean, it is... Is he kicking about, Donnell? That would be a bit awkward. So... I don't see anybody here, but I do see a sloppy jalopy and it's after 7 o'clock. So what is happening here? Why can I not swipe something? They're my klepto girls, so what is happening? I have no idea. What if she stops this? I think it's totally broke my klepto thing completely. <laughs> By putting in that, but we'll see. Anyway, he's home and that is, that's the main the main purpose of this. Oh my goodness, Raina, no. Raina's pregnant again. <laughs> so let's get to know him. He's enthused about sleeping in. And let's tell him a funny story. Let's boast about dancing. Why freaking not? Let's boast about dancing. Why don't you go here as well and see if we can get your man in. It's been great meeting you. Maybe we should go on a real date. She wants to become friends with him. We can do that. I don't understand why it's not letting me swipe. It's, oh, dear me. I'll work it out. I will work it out. What is Melissa doing? Melissa is with Chuck. Still with Chuck. Oh, I think we should send Melissa and Chuck out. Get them sent out somewhere quite nice, I think. They're not even at the apartment. <laughs> They're still just in the hallway. Like, okay, so why don't you ask him out on a date? And then we can kind of go from there. Christina, you may as well just come home. Today's a disaster for you, honey. And she's in a taxi. I'm sorry about all this back and forth, guys. I really am. Oh, and Chuck's too tired to hang out. Oh, well, these guys are getting on fine. So why don't we do ask him a sign, ask a single, compliment his appearance. It's only nine o'clock. I mean, you don't really need to be that tired, right? We've got two hours till she pees herself. <laughs> two hours until she pees her pants. Seriously, what's with all the negative midlets? You're in a bad mood because you're tired, can't I? I think you yeah. are. Seriously, what has been awkward? Okay, well that isn't really going that great, so let's apologise. <laughs> let's apologise and uh, ask about his career. I think he looks like a paper boy. I think. By the looks of things. He yeah, is a paper boy. Excellent. So I think on that note, we're not getting on that great. So let's enthuse a bit of journalism and see if that helps. And we'll tell him a little funny story. He seems to have a good sense of humour, which is good. That's always good. I would just really like to her to have a good romance, so let's enthuse about that again. <laughs> Normally you can joke about journalism, but it's not actually asked, letting me ask him about that. Talk about the military school. 
and high five him. Friendly, let's apologise again. You're freaking hard work. You douchebag. Right, okay. Home time. Home time. And she is obsessed. Oh, wow. Melissa is obsessed. <laughs> what happened to you? What are you wearing, Christina? Christina, what are you wearing? And she's just going to come down and interrupt us. I don't know, what is she wearing that for? Oh my goodness. Drama mamas. And she's like that, come on, look. She's like that, come on. Get a grip, you know. What's this? Christina Ferreira has experienced a personality swap from being delusional. She no longer has the following traits. Great kisser and good. What? Christina Ferreira will now have the following traits. Vegetarian. If she does not get admitted to hospital soon, the new traits will become permanent. Um, right, well, let's get you to hospital then, because I don't want the vegetarian trait. I want the traits that you had before. <laughs> so where is the hospital? Is it over at this side of town? I think it is, possibly. Possibly. Please tell me there's a hospital. Of course there has to be. There has to be a freaking hospital. Where is it? Oh my lord. Where is the hospital? Can you guys see it? Am I just being... There's a school. It's going to be right under my nose. I know it is. Where's the hospital? Oh my god. There has to be a hospital. Right, we'll be back in a minute. And of course, it's right here. Okay. <laughs> so let be admitted for instability. Go and, go and do that. Go and go and do that. Go and go and, and do that because I don't want your traits to be, you know, thingy. So... I'm in two minds about the unstable trait because I understand why you know they have it, but ultimately it, it's in risky territory here, you know, with mental illness and whatnot, because that's really not a light-hearted thing. So I don't know. I kind of feel uncomfortable admitting her to hospital for that. I don't know. I'm in two minds. I was playing that trait to see how I feel about it, and I'm not. I don't know if I'm keen, but anyway, 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 anyway. So these two are getting on like a freaking house on fire. But I know that she doesn't, you know, she'll not want to make him the boyfriend. Let's go for... Okay, so she's been found a cure for delusions. Just like, you know, you'd find a cure within an hour. <laughs> I really don't think so. Okay, Carter Galloway and Melissa Summers are no longer friends. She wants to become friends with him again. Alrighty. Alrighty, we pick up with the Malins and it is a leisure day today. So the family are going to have some one-on-one -on -one time. Now, I have also... Have a look. I have also redid the nursery and redigged it a little bit because we had two babies and a boy to cater for. So this is what I've kind of done. Now I could have moved him in beside his brother, but I decided against it. His brother, poor Nate, still has to wait <laughs> to get his room decorated. But I thought the nursery looked pretty cute. Just went for a lemon and then coloured the cribs, you know, blue and pink. I know it's very traditional, but I went for it anyway. And then I've made him his own little section. So rather than just plopping, you know, a bed down, I've done some half walls so that he feels as if he's got his own space rather than just being in the nursery with the kiddies. So that was my plan for our night. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to the swimming. Oh my goodness, he's nearly... Is he a young adult in like one day? Oh my goodness, he literally has grown up so fast. He's not had the chance. Oh, Sandy Pinson. I think we might get him to invite over Sandy. Sandy was one of my Creative Sims, if you'd seen it. My latest Creative Sim video. 
Um, righty ho, and he's going to go and grab some leftover cake slice. So if you can stop eating the cake slice and phone Sandy and see if Sandy will come over to see you. And then once she's over, you know, we'll take her out and about. And what's up with you, sweetheart? Where are you? Come home. Come home. Aww. Why, Sandy? He's like that. Screw you. <laughs> well, just chat with her then. So once you've done a pee... Why don't you just go and chat with her? And she's going to toss Ruby in the ear. And Ruby's just sitting there. She's quite a content wee thing. She's just sitting there all ready. So they're pretty much their needs are met. What about you, mister? You need to come to the bathroom. And then mummy and daddy are going to take you. Yeah, are going to take you swimming. And Nate can stay home with the kids. And hopefully, you know, hopefully have a good old time of it and hopefully get to know her as well. So pop her in the crib and then you come up here and you are going to... Let's have a look. So where is the local swimming pool? So the outdoor swimming pool. So the sunshine splash pads. So let's visit here with Ashley, Daniel. Ashley and Daniel. Yep. So if you go there and Nate is talking to Shanna. Now, where does Shanna stay? What's her son's name? Shanna what? Shanna... Pinson. Okay. I don't see... That's where Bryce stays, is it not? Why does it say Roy there? Very strange. But we'll get him to continue his conversation with her and hopefully that will be enough, you know, that we can eventually get them out and about. What is Mr. Taylor doing? Where are you? Let's see. Oh, what are you doing out here on your own? Come on. What to do? Let's reset you, honey. Because obviously there's something wrong. So let's uh, reset you. Otherwise he isn't going to make it home. So let's do that. And... Oh no, I didn't mean to reset his needs. It's not supposed to reset his needs. Oh well, it's done that anyway. Okay. So you still chatting it up with her? Yes, you are. Excellent. And then once you're finished doing that, you can chat again. <laughs> like a stalker, you can chat with her again and maybe even invite her over and see. See what she says. Come on, use the charm, Nate. I know you're babysitting, but use the charm. Here's the chat. Oh, okay, she's taking Ruby as well. Alright, fair enough. Taking Ruby, but Ruby can't swim, so... How nice is this? Look at this, my goodness. Alrighty, so Adam is going... He's first in, he's like that. Right, come on. <laughs> so let's put Ruby down here. And why don't you go and swim as well? And you come over here and you can swim. A family day out at the pool. You can't beat it. Swimming is one of my most favourite things in the whole wide world to do. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's fantastic. Fantastic fun. I don't like the idea of you being out in the sun, Ruby. I really don't. Because it might end up, you know, you get too hot and whatever. Do you have any wee toys that you can play with? No, you don't. I don't like that either. Right, I've got an idea. Oh, Sandy's coming over. Excellent. Right, so open. There's no girl toys. Right, so let's um, take all. Put a tank out there. And then we'll put it in Ruby's. So that <laughs> she's got something to play with. <laughs> Right, so why don't you play with that? Alrighty. So, they are feeling. And Arena has improved her social networking skills. Good for her. And they've went for a dip in the water. So why don't you practice your snorkeling, little dude? Why don't you try that? Because your daddy, if I believe right, is a master scuba diver scuba diver scuba diver so it would be good 
if you could do that as well. As a master scuba diver, scuba diver, scuba diver. I can't remember if there is dive spots around about here. No, I thought I don't know why I thought there was a dive spot. Why did I think round about Ann Arbor there was a dive spot? Hmm. You know, I should really, with a master scuba diver, put in a dive spot somehow. I really know how I'm going to do that. Okay, let's head over to Nate right now. And here she is. The future, Mrs. Malin. <laughs> oh, <I'm kidding. laughs> and it's Sandy. Sandy's a cutie. Okay, so why don't we consider her attractiveness. So let's see if we're attracted to her. There's a bit comic books. So tell her a funny story. And we will chat. Complain about Daniel. <gasps> no, we're not going to do that. So Let's show an internet cats video. They have so much in common, and he finds her blindingly stunning. So that's awesome. And he's a bookworm like her. She's a bookworm like him, even. So is there like an enthusiast about books or or something like that? We'll get to know her. Oh, so cute. High five. Let's see. Chat. Um, let us gossip a little bit. And how are we doing over here? So she's splashing her son. How cute. You all right up there, Jake? You look fine. Alrighty. Let's get over here and see what our families are doing. Yeah, they're doing good. Oh, look at him. He's doing so well. I just love this place. I think it's gorgeous. Are you doing okay, honey? You're not too hot. You're not going to end up, you know, being absolutely roasted on me and something happening to you. Because <laughs> that would just be the most horrendous thing, like, ever. I'm not even going to lie. Alright, so why don't you and... What is Daddy doing? He's going to relax. He's like that. Time to relax. Which I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'm so jealous. I don't know if I finished off my Florida story, but yeah, whenever we were in Florida um, last April, I can't believe it's almost been a year, we went to all the water parks, we went to Typhoon Lagoon, we went to Blizzard Beach, and it was just amazing fun. Amazing, amazing fun. Right, ignore this call. So he wants to go bowling with friends, so why don't we do that? Is there a bowling alley here? I'm not entirely sure. And I don't know why it tells me that he gra he's been to university and he's graduated from it because he, he really hasn't. <laughs> he really hasn't. So why don't we... No, not woohoo. Why don't we flirt a little bit? Oh my goodness! Again! So Kate keeps going back to this guy. Looks like Kate and Cesar and Nejo are expecting a happy little accident. Seriously, she keeps coming back to him, so there must be something in it, you know, that she really likes him. I need to maybe turn off the, the, the Ultimates. Uh, and Ziza have been seen canoodling all over time, so that is twice that he's went back to her, you know, that she's went back to him, so he must be the one for her, basically, I think. Oh, flirtalicious. Let's try to compliment your personality. And they're now on a date. Oh, so cute. Um, let's give her some flowers. He wants to kiss Sandy for the first time. Oh, let's amorous hug her. Let's go and watch a movie. We could actually take her for a movie. Could do that. Romantic. Let's flirt with her. Romantic. Let's go in for the kill, guys. Come on, Nate, you can do it. It's confession attraction. <gasps> She's into us. She likes us too. Okay, romantic, and let's go for it. Let's go for it. First kiss. Mm. Aww. Aww, how sweet. Romantic. Give it a heat of the moment kiss. Mm. 
Oh, she's like that. I like it, baby. <laughs> she's like, I like that. Give me some more of that. Some richeru. And let's dip kiss her. Let's have a, a romantic dip kiss. Why not? We'll get the parentals to head home. And Daniel to head. No, I didn't mean to do that. No. <laughs> And she thinks that he's extremely irresistible. Okay, well what we're going to do is we're going to propose going steady to her. No, don't go home! Get back, get your butt back here, come. You know you're a match made in heaven, so come on. What is going on? What is going on? Oh no! No, 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 no! No, please tell me no! No! No, 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 don't, no, please tell me he's not. Oh my god, no! Get, get out! Oh my god, no! Holy shit! Oh my god! No! Oh my god! No, you arsh! No! No, this is awful! Oh my god! Oh my god, Daniel! Oh my god! I'm freaking speechless! Actually speechless! Oh my lord! That's horrendous. That's actually horrendous. Oh, we can't. Oh, oh my goodness. No, not at the moment. We're busy. <laughs> right. So what happens here then? God. Do you know this is like the the second Sam that's died ever? Like oh, not of old age, and that's just was that my fault? It totally was, wasn't it? Did I make him swim for too long? Well, I mean, he could have got out. It's not technically my fault. Oh, come on. Not not the time. Right, so... What's... Is something stuck here? Is that what's wrong? It looks as if something's stuck. So, will we... I know it's not very nice to have to do this, but will we reset him? Oh, it's horrendous. Oh, I don't like this at all. Right, okay. So let's take his... his grave home. I really don't know what to say, guys. <laughs> I really don't have a clue what to say about that. Um. It's tough. It is. It, it's absolutely tough. Okay, go down here and um, hug your dad. Like, just hug him. Your brother's just died. So we've got a first romance and a death all in the one episode. Wow. Alrighty guys, so I am going to leave it there. I know that we've not visited Raina, but um, I'm a bit gutted. I'm not even. I'm not even going to lie. I'm actually really, really gutted, and I'm not going to, you know, not save and go back in and whatever because this is the whole point. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there, and we will get some extra time with Raina in the next part. And I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.